uh, start, uh, our second talk for today is Sasha Efimov, who is going to tell us about invariance of ships. Invariance of ships. Invariance. Okay, thank, thank you very much for the invitation. So, yeah, uh, so when I see the features of ships, I will consider actually not constructible, but all ships. Ships, uh, for example, vector spaces on something x, uh, where x is uh, locally compact. Yes. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, I, will, I, will, I will unbound it. Yeah. Unbound it in both directions, yeah. I, I, I will can we, we cannot Yeah, turn it off. Uh, yeah, or more generally, shifts of uh, uh, modules over <coughs> some uh, shift of DG algebras. Um, yeah, again, of course, of course uh, yeah, for DG algebras, it's uh, always complexes. So, what, what is K? Uh, some what base field or some base ring? Huh? Uh, some base field, for example. Ah, okay. Yeah, so categories like, like, like this. Yeah, so uh, first... Uh, uh, Actually, everybody is bothering you, let me also bother you. Yeah, okay, of course. Hypercomplete or just hmm? hypercomplete? What kind of, what do you mean by she? Uh, descent or hyperdescent? Uh, I mean, homotopy shift of complexes, so descent for... Uh, descent or hyperdescent? Uh, uh, well, descent. Yeah. Check descent. Yeah, check descent. Yeah, but for infinite uh, covers, for some, so, yeah, so, so I mean, I mean, just just, just uh, for example, if U is uh, is a filtered union on top of some v, 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 v i, then then f of U is a limit of uh, f of v i. Yeah, yeah, it's not the risk. It's not the risk, yes. Locally complex, not the risk. Yeah, yeah, it's Hausdorff, yeah. Hausdorff story. Is there a follow-up question? Is there anything Yes. Even if the topology is sufficiently fine? Well, didn't say. No, I mean, that's the only assumption. Locally complex. Yeah. 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 I mean, of course, there are some technical details. Like, for example, you need to also identify, for example, uh, shifts of complexes with complexes of shifts, yeah, which is true for any paracompact space. Yeah. But uh, I, I will not go into too much te technicalities here. Yeah. Uh, okay. <coughs> so uh, first, uh, the, mm, the, 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 the usual algebraic, algebraic geometric story, which uh, I think uh, uh, everyone is familiar with, uh, which is the theorem in full gener generality by Bondel and then Berg. <coughs> And uh, also Keller, uh, if uh, X is general quasi-compact, quasi separate scheme, X, well, let's say over some field, but you can do it by <coughs> integers, uh, then uh, derived category of OX, OX models with quasi-coherent cohomology, uh, it's uh, uh, equivalent to derived category of, of DG models over some DG algebra A, where A is endomorphic DG algebra of some generator, uh, and here uh, uh, the, 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 com uh, the compact objects are uh, perfect complexes, Oops. Uh, perfect complexes, <coughs> and they are identified with perfect complexes over DG algebra. Um, uh, okay. Uh, and yes, a similar story you have with uh, you have for D modules for quite coherent D modules uh, over field of characteristic zero, uh, and mm, yeah, but here uh, compact generation is uh, kind of uh, very important, and uh, in particular uh, when you apply uh, when you consider some invariance, yeah, I'm in my title I have localized invariance, but it will be essentially case theory of Hirsch homology or topological Hirsch homology. I mean, you, you can uh, consider uh, anything. <coughs> Uh, standard. So, for example, case theory of X is case theory of uh, it's case theory of compact objects uh, of perfect complexes of A or, 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 or over X, which is the same as case theory of perfect complexes over A. Uh, yeah, and similarly for uh, other invariants. Uh, so it's important. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and you, <coughs> you, you cannot uh, uh, naively consider so naive case theory, for example, uh, of the whole category of uh, uh, of complexes with quite coherent homology, this is of course zero. And uh, I, I'll just uh, recall the standard arg argument because uh, so you, if you take identity functor, uh, then its class in the category of uh, uh, functors uh, will be zero just because if you add 
identity taken countable number of times, uh, this will be again the class of identity ta taken countable number of times. So, which means that class of identity functor is zero in k zero of n the functors. Which means that all uh, all these different variants, uh, of course, vanish for such categories. Yeah, uh, but what I'm going to do is to uh, first uh, make sense of uh, 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 well, I could call it continuous case theory uh, uh, of case theory for for this uh, large category of uh, uh, shifts, for example, of TG models. But uh, already for shifts of vector spaces, this is non-trivial. So as I explained, uh, I, we cannot take naive case theory. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, yeah, but um, uh, the, the first uh, difficulty here is that uh, the, the main difficulty by theorem of uh, Neiman, uh, if M is uh, infinity manifold, uh, connected and non-compact, uh, then compact objects in this category of, let's say, shifts of vector spaces, uh, uh, they're, they're just zero. <coughs> uh, so in particular, uh, of course, uh, this category uh, is not uh, Compact generated. What is K here? Some base field. Well, so, some base field, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this is true. <laughs> also for abelian groups, if you can take Z integers still. There are no compact objects at all. Yeah. Uh, in particular, if you don't have compact objects, then your category is, of course, not compact generated. So, if it's all infinity, it could be twice yeah. the French. <laughs> yeah, yeah. C1, C1. C1. But C0. Yeah. Topological manifold. In so manifold is important. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The indices can you write them bigger because it's not visible what is a k, what is a dot. Uh, yeah. K. Thank you. Um, yes. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah. I'll finish the formulation and uh, then I, I'll answer uh, to maximum questions about uh, conditions. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, so this is first for connected and non-compact and second, if M is compact, so uh, again, it's infinity manifold, but compact, uh, then um, uh, compact objects here are just uh, DB, uh, uh, so, so local systems with uh, fi fine dimensional local systems, so complexes of shifts with uh, uh, locally constant and fine dimensional homology. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, just uh, uh, for example, if you, if you, if you drop this assumption of being infinity manifold, then yeah. uh, very simple exercise is to show that if you take a counter set, yeah. so just 0, 1, taken uh, yeah. to the power of n, and uh, take uh, shifts of modules, this is uh, completely generated, and ju it just modules over the DGL DG algebra k plus k uh, tensor uh, to the power natural numbers. Yeah. Cylindrical, I mean just cylindrical just functions here. Yeah, yeah local, <coughs> local, local constant. Local local cost functions here. Functions on counter set. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so in this case, of course, it's completely generated. Yeah. 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 So counter set is, is much simpler than, than, for example, than open interval from this point of view. Yeah. Uh, uh, <coughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we cannot, uh, we cannot define a K theory here by taking just compact objects. Uh, of course we can, but it's nothing uh, interesting. Uh, uh, okay, so mm, the correct uh, formalism here is uh, the following. <coughs> Sorry, Sasha, just a moment. Your talk will not be about algebraic geometry or about algebraic. Well, some categories, yeah. No, well, the geometry will, will participate in it, but uh, but mo mostly about uh, uh, about uh, I, I will explain why why considering all shifts on local compact space is is a reasonable thing to do. Uh, yeah, and and to give in particular then some some, some applications uh, of this. Uh, uh, 
uh, in, in particular, <laughs> probably to r rationality of change, Ch Ch Simon's invariance, but uh, this, at least to, to, to the step towards. Uh, um, uh, yeah, and um, yeah, but, but first, generalize it, because otherwise uh, it doesn't make sense to, yeah, um, to talk about key theory. Uh, so, uh, general definition. Uh, actually, there will be th three uh, equivalent definitions. Uh, it's it's not immediately obvious that they're equivalent, and uh, in this talk I, I will mostly ignore uh, set theory. Uh, so, so just, just uh, let, let's forget about set theoretic issues uh, for this talk. Uh, so definition: uh, uh, if uh, uh, <coughs> so, so, so first, uh, uh, if, if, if we consider uh, DG categories. Some base fields <laughs> which are uh, co-complete. Co uh, uh, so, so, so we consider DG categories with uh, infinite uh, direct sums and uh, <coughs> triangulated, <coughs> pre-triangulated. Uh, and uh, we, we define uh, well, well, <coughs> this is due to, due to definition due to Lurie. Uh, define continuous tensor product here uh, on this category uh, just by uh, it, well, uh, it's easier to define the internal home. Uh, so internal home from C to D will be <coughs> continuous functors from C to D. When, I, when, when I'm saying functors, I of course mean, mean either infinity functors or by models, I mean the correct version, but continuous. Continuous means that f from c to d is continuous uh, if uh, it preserves direct sums, uh, infinite direct sums. <coughs> mm, so it's uh, isomorphic to this. Part of ignoring set theoretic issues is meaning you don't want to say presentable. Is there in the background? Yeah, because uh, when I say presentable, I am I, I do care about the theoretical issues. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I mean this is just to simplify the, the exposition. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and it, it's not not obvious. Of course, uh, even if you do care about the issues, it's not obvious that this is well defined. Uh, but uh, at least uh, there is there is a unique such tensor product. So that ah, this so is so this is kind of naive tensor product and get existing limits which in both directions. Yeah, so somehow yeah, you, you need to identify something uh, yeah. plus of x i tensor y with plus of x i tensor y. Yeah, okay, yeah, like yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so this continuous tensor product and, and then, uh, well, uh, okay, this is definition and th th uh, so this is, there will, there will be not three equivalent definitions of this, so there's, there's only one definition, but uh, then I will define dualizable categories for, for which there will be uh, different equivalent ca characterizations. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <coughs> uh, and, and then uh, definition one, which is again due to Lurie, uh, <coughs> is that uh, co-complete uh, C uh, is uh, dualizable, co-complete dedicatory C is dualizable if uh, it is dualizable uh, in this symmetric monoidal category, which means that uh, there exists uh, C dual. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, the map, the maps are yeah, yeah, here. I should I should mention that uh, the, the identity object is uh, just DG vector complex of vector spaces. Yeah. So uh, there's this C dual such that uh, there are mm, functors continuous from C to D. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, this continuous vector spaces to C tensor C dual, which is of course just an object here, <coughs> diagonal, and uh, from C tensor dual vector spaces uh, satisfying the standard uh, condition the two, two compositions are uh, identities uh, the same conditions uh, as for adjoint functors and um, yes yeah, so, so <coughs> this is uh, yeah uh, general definition and um, it looks uh, abstract but uh, in fact uh, it turns out that uh, in practice you can for some categories you, you can check actually that something is dualizable and uh, yeah, and uh, we will see s such examples. Um, okay. <coughs> yeah, 
another definition, uh, there should be no shadow here, right? Uh, another definition, uh, <coughs> which is actually equivalent to this one, is that, uh, uh, co uh, again, co-complete, so the same assumptions on C, C is co-complete, uh, is dualizable uh, if, uh, there, uh, if C is a refract of completely generated category. So these are uh, both continuous functors. Position is identity. And uh, yeah, A is some small digit category, so yes, <coughs> yeah, completely generated. Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Probably I should I should uh, put a remark here, uh, kind of clarifying uh, clarifying this as a product and uh, dualizability that uh, uh, first mod A uh, tensor continuous product with mod B is just uh, mod uh, A tensor B <coughs> and uh, in particular it's uh, easy to see that um, that uh, mod A is dualizable and mod A uh, dual is modules over A opposites, so right modules are dual to left modules. I called A mod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah. Hmm? No, no, no. For any. No, no. You, uh, uh, without any assumption, you have diagonal and uh, and uh, code, uh, code well, host homology functor from A tensor opposite to spaces. Yeah, here because of this completeness, we, we don't care about perfectness of set of perfectness. Yeah. Um, <coughs> okay, uh, so these are retracts, but, but in this uh, was condition that everything is continuous. And, uh, uh, and the third definition, <coughs> which is actually more precise, uh, uh, more precise version of this, um, is that uh, for complete C is dualizable if uh, th there exists uh, a short exact sequence Zero goes to C goes to mod A goes to mod B, <coughs> where here we have continuous right adjoint. Well, uh, this is, uh, I mean, this this condition is actually very easy. This means that this functor, <coughs> uh, you have some functor uh, between small categories between compact objects, such that this is just extension of scalars, which is tensoring with uh, B. And and the uh, right adjoint is just restriction of scalars. So whenever you have such functor between completely generated categories with continuous right adjoint, it's just extension of scalars for something. Yeah, and um, and and, and uh, yeah, and this should be short exact sequence, which means that this localization and and uh, localization means basically that B tensor B over A is uh, B. This is I, uh, uh, isomorphism in the right category of uh, bimodules over B. <coughs> uh, okay, so, so this is, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, and, but uh, the point is that uh, 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 in this short exact sequence, uh, <coughs> C uh, is not forced to be uh, completely generated at, uh, at all. So yeah, in fact, with the, uh, Alex Rosenberg worked 15 years ago, we came to this definition with all this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And it was topologists, I think, who discovered first. Uh, they, they had telescope conjecture, yeah, which, they, yeah. which is wrong. And telescope conjecture stated that uh, that uh, actually the kernel is always completely generated. Oh, no, no, definitely It not, was yeah. equivalent, but it's not true. Yeah. And no, they, they disproved it first for spectra, then yeah. Keller uh, yeah. uh, disproved this for DGL. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so this is uh, equivalent crustacean of the same class of categories. Yeah, uh, now, mm, uh, so uh, now uh, examples. So one example which uh, one example which provides uh, a lot of <coughs> situation is uh, given by uh, almost string theory uh, by uh, Faltinx and uh, Geiger uh, Romero, uh, which is um, uh, so so. Uh, I, I will just explain the basic setup of this almost string theory. Uh, so, so if, if you take uh, R to be commutative ring and M 
<coughs> that R is an ideal such that m squared equals m and uh, m is flat over R, uh, then, uh, th th then you can uh, take modules over R to modules over R mod M, and that <coughs> will be uh, actually localization, uh, which is, yeah, so, so this condition applies that M tensor M derived over R is just M, which means that for, for this uh, projection we have, we have this property. Uh, <coughs> yeah, and uh, we have kernel, which is then dualizable, and this is actually equivalent to derived category of what they call mo almost modules of our R. Uh, well, let's put Abidin here. So yeah. this is Abidin. Yeah. And do you understand if consider this Novik of Ruin? Yeah, I will give uh, uh, this is exactly uh, the, one, of the, one of examples. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah well, I'll just uh, first. Uh, so uh, this almost module <coughs> um, uh, are uh, uh, just defined uh, as a ser quotient of uh, R modules by uh, those which are annihilated by M. <coughs> the point is that uh, under this assumption, uh, the modules annihilated by M, they're, they're closed under extensions. Ser subcategory. Yeah, and uh, what's the abelian for? I mean, I, I usually consider the G modules. <coughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just naive modules. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so examples. Uh, uh, so, so examples of this. Uh, so you can take indeed R to be Novik ring and with the usual maximal ideal, and uh, uh, or you can take uh, like for example Bezo. Non-discrete relation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can take uh, any field uh, with non-discrete relation of rank one, and, uh, and take a ring of integers and uh, maximize it. <coughs> yeah. Also with the usual maximize deal or uh, OCP, with the maximize deal. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, quite easy proposition, uh, which just corollary of Nakayama lemma is that if <coughs> take, if if M is contained in the Jacobson radical of R, in particular if it's just a maximum ideal local ring, then uh, then uh, there are no compact objects in this C. So uh, it's dualizable but not completely generated. Um, okay, this is one class of examples, and uh, of course here. Uh, I mean, from from the point of view, from the homological point of view, you can you can uh, so so we, we can can uh, drop uh, commutativity <coughs> of R and uh, just assume that uh, M is uh, flat uh, M is flat either as a right or as a left module, just from one side. Um, and we will actually uh, actually <coughs> encounter example of such situation when we, we will consider ships with single support condition. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, actually, I have a question. But yeah. Maybe you know the answer. If you consider, uh, let's say, some uh, big algebra and yeah. uh, co-algebra in category of bimodules, yeah. Co-algebra, co-nilpotent or, or no, 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 I no, 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 just co-algebra yeah. category yeah. of bimodules. Yeah, say. Yeah. And the consider category of co-modules in a uh, in a category. Of I saw that it's ill-defined. I saw contra no. models are... are no, 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 no. You no, it's complicated. It's hard to study. So. Ah. No. And my guess is this guy will be, again, with a dualizable okay. story. Is it some natural kind of... Maybe, but, uh, but I, I didn't just yeah. think, think through this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So, so, yeah. No, no, I so consider it's like in like, infinity language you immediately define what a Yeah, but I, I thought just, just for over field, this DG co-algebra, it's not the same as infinity co-algebra because DG is always a union of fine dimensions. No, no, co-algebra is also the homotopy sense. Ah, homotopy sense, then. then, yeah, then it's okay. Okay, okay. Not okay. DG, sorry. Okay, then, then prob probably <laughs> yes, yes. I, I just didn't. didn't. I see, yes. um, okay, so um, uh, now. Um, uh, another general example, which, which I will actually consider in, in my talk, is uh, so example two. Uh, is this uh, uh, shifts of uh, modules over 
uh, some sheaf, uh, gray sheaf of the G algebras, for example. So, uh, so R bar is gray sheaf of <coughs> DG algebras on X, where X is uh, locally compact. Um, and uh, so, uh, well, uh, uh, let me expl explain just uh, 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 why this is dualizable uh, uh, for the constant sh for the constant shift, j just just the base field. So uh, let's let's consider shifts of vector spaces to on X, <laughs> and then uh, this uh, argument, uh, as I learned, is uh, due to Greenfield, uh, unpublished. Uh, well, uh, there are actually different ways. Uh, to, to prove dualizability here, and for for my goal of computation of K-theory, Greenfield's argument uh, doesn't help at all, but it's the most elegant explanation of uh, why this is dualizable. And uh, here, um, yeah, and local compactness is, is uh, crucial here. Uh, so uh, this is just uh, uh, representing shifts on X as a retract of pre-shifts. Uh, Uh, pre shifts they are obviously completely generated because this is just uh, modules of our s s small category. And uh, this uh, functor is sh shiftification, uh, which is continuous. And, uh, and this functor, uh, say uh, f, uh, uh, is, is defined as follows. So f of applied to the shift f computed on the open set u <coughs> is uh, given by R gamma with compact support of x <coughs> efficient in f tensor uh, g, g lower star of k u, uh, where j is uh, open embedding from u to x. Yeah, uh, so yeah, here I take g, g lower star. If, 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 if I would take uh, uh, g, g lower shrink, this will be just uh, again with complete support of u with coefficients in f, but, but this is the wrong direction, so I need to take this. And here uh, it's clear that this Functor is continuous because both tensor product and our game with complete support is continuous. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, some exercise. Of, uh, just consider considering stocks, st st stocks uh, at, uh, at points. Uh, so you, you see that the composition is uh, identity. So this is rejection. So if X was compact, it would be the usual justification. Uh, if uh, X is compact, uh, compact is the same. no, but it's different direction. I'm showing the function in different direction. For shift to pre shift. For shift to, to pre shift. The naive, the, the naive embedding is, is not, uh, is not um, uh, continuous. Because I, I'm considering pre shift, pre -shift of complexes, so I'm already taking R gamma. And for a non complex set, set R, R gamma doesn't, com uh, doesn't commute with Correct. different sums. Wow. So you need to do something tricky here. Yeah. Wow. That's what it is. And you say that. Oh, and you said that if you follow this depreciation, then you get identity. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, but local compactness is crucial here. <coughs> yeah, uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, local compactness is definitely not necessary uh, for the category to be dualizable. Uh, basically, and a uh, very easy exercise is to check that if uh, uh, x is uh, Nasserian. Uh, then uh, this uh, shifts of uh, modules over any uh, sh shift of DG algebras, this is just completely generated. Uh, so it's, uh, and this is, uh, and, and this is completely completely trivial exercise, just because shift condition uh, here you have smart Vitoris condition just for finite coverings. This, uh, yeah, this is easily seems to be completely generated story, but for locally complex, it's much much more uh, involved. So is it obvious to see that the stocks are the same? Or the yeah, yeah, just by definition of local, you follow the definition of local compactness. Then you. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just, uh, yeah. <coughs> For the people do, doing measure, measure theory, I think it should, should be just immediate to see. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, okay, <coughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so this is uh, the class of examples which I'm uh, interested in. Uh, and um, now, uh, yeah, I, I promise to define uh, K-theory for, uh, for this uh, 
mask. So I book it first. Yes, so I prom promise to consider this, but uh, first uh, general definition. <coughs> and the definition is again for any localizing invariant. Uh, definition. <coughs> Can you remind what is localizing invariant? Oh, uh, okay, okay. So first of all, the definition yeah, of <laughs> localizing invariant, but okay, vague definition. I, I will uh, not pronounce this higher stuff. I will just explain uh, elementary loca localizing invariant, uh, which this means that. Uh, for, for any, uh, you, you have functor from uh, small, say, just small digit categories to uh, uh, to some triangulated category T. Uh, of course, you assume enhanced, and uh, and uh, you, you require that uh, for a short exact sequence, uh, you have exact triangle. And, and the boundary map is actually uh, a short exact sequence, just localization. Yeah. Hmm? Local. Is local. Big, big. A is a full subcategory of A, yeah? Yeah, this is a quotient. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, this is just uh, the most the, in the standard sense. Yeah, then, uh, so this U, say, uh, yeah, gives exact triangle. <coughs> yeah, actually, this last map is induced by C to Kalkin. A, yes, yeah, so I mean, <coughs> it's not hard to. to Sorry, what is the target for some stable category? or? No. Some triangulated category, especially in rich. What is its name? Hmm? T. 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 Okay. I called it T. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, here is just the uh, category spectrum. Um, uh, okay, so now, now uh, how do we uh, define? How do we define, uh, uh, for example, uh, K theory? Uh, le le let's focus on K theory. Uh, how d uh, do we define uh, continuous K theory for the realizable co complete categories? So, see, co complete, realizable. So, first, if uh, we're <coughs> represented as a kernel of localization, which I mentioned uh, the third definition, then uh, uh, continuous case theory uh, is just a fiber of the map from uh, K A to K of B. Uh, the usual K, yeah. The usual, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this, uh, A and B are just small categories. And, um, mm, <coughs> but, uh, uh, second uh, interesting definition is that continuous K theory of C is uh, the usual K theory of Kalkin category of C shifted by minus one. But this Kalkin is, uh, is kind of uh, yeah okay okay I'll I'll, I'll spell out the definition. So <coughs> this is uh, like the virtual quotient by compact object. Uh, so if 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 C is compactly generated, then it's just a quotient by compact objects. Uh, but uh, for um, uh, for uh, C dualizable, uh, one of the uh, one of the ways to define this is uh, to take um, you take module over C, which is uh, even larger. C is already large, but this is even larger, and you mod out by the image of the twice left joint of the another embedding of C, and take compact objects. Mm. It's an exercise to check that uh, it's uh, it's for complete generation, it's the same. It's a nice exercise for, for, for example, you take this, uh, just for, for <coughs> K, you take in, in the vector spaces, and uh, you, you have two different embeddings of vector spaces into in the vector spaces. Yeah. And, uh, another definition. Once hmm? <laughs> <laughs> again? Uh, because it's intrinsic. Uh, no, but, but this is this is intuitive <coughs> definition, it's not a definition. Because. Uh, uh, I was just calculating the algebra. Hmm? Ah, it's definition of Kalkin algebra. No, uh, Kalkin category. category. <coughs> so this is this is this is a uh, mathematical definition. And this is intuitive okay. explanation. Yeah, For completely generated, uh, th this is just the, the, the quotient. Yeah. For the, it's I define it as small category. Yeah, so the question is. Ah, ah is why, why the, the quotient? Is the, the quotient is completely generated. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and another another way to define this is uh, to take 
so the twice left adjoint of the anode embedding naturally maps to the anode embedding. You take the cone of this and <coughs> take the image of this cone there. and you add direct sums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a definition mm -hmm. of the same. Uh, so these are the compact guys? Uh, th th these are compact guys in, uh, guys in the quotient. Yeah. Um, <coughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, if if you didn't see, see it, and uh, I suppose you didn't, uh, then then it's it's a nice uh, exercise to check that for vector spaces, it's just the usual calc uh, just modding out by finite rank. Uh, so so you get the usual calc category, just <coughs> home from v to w, you modulo v start under w. So, so this is new. You didn't have it two months ago. No, I d I had it. Uh, Forever. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. and, well, I asked you to the finish, but you said you didn't. Yeah, but uh, I didn't. I didn't spell out definition du during the talk in St. Petersburg, but uh, I had it in my head just for. I see. Okay. For, uh, yes. <laughs> but in the first definition, <laughs> in the first definition, you should assume that you have a continuous right out front from all the map B. Otherwise. I I I, I, I I I mean I mean that I'm yeah of course I am assuming this I'm I'm in the situation of my third definition. Yeah. <coughs> uh, okay, so and of course th this third definition it's interesting but uh, of course this is not a way to compute anything. Uh, <coughs> no one computes hom homology of uh, synthetic manifold by taking singular homology complex. It's just just a universal way to define. Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, <coughs> so. Uh, now, uh, now, uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is general definition, and I also gave an <coughs> argument uh, why shifts are dualizable. But uh, uh, first, I should remark that uh, this uh, Dreamfield uh, explanation of dualizability does not. Uh, uh, say anything about k, k theory for the following for the following reason, uh, because uh, uh, when you defining some in, when you define some invariant, you expect it to be functorial, but uh, uh, this k theory it's not functorial under arbitrary continuous functor. So uh, first definition that c to d is uh, strongly uh, strongly continuous. If uh, th there exists a right adjoint which is continuous, exactly, exactly for compactly generated. So just remark uh, f from. <coughs> I think I've already spelled this out, but just to write, it makes sense to write it down. So uh, functor between compactly generated is strongly continuous. Uh, if and only if, uh, uh, okay, this phi, phi is uh, uh, extension of scalars. Uh, well, <coughs> f upper star, I, I'm just using uh, the algebraic geometric intuition. It's f upper star is extension of scalars, like for yeah, a fine. Like homomorphism of algebra. Yeah, like for a fine, a fine variety. And yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, the strong continuity and, and uh, k, k theory, continuous k theory. Uh, is uh, functorial uh, only under uh, st strong, strongly continuous uh, functors. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's. Uh, it's helpful to point out that if C and D are compactly generated, this is just the condition that compact objects map to compact objects. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. okay yeah, it's um, the same. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Ah, I didn't see this is the same remark. as extension. I of didn't skills. see your remark. Okay, sorry. Yeah. 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 Uh, <coughs> okay. Now, uh, th this was uh, uh, mostly some general definitions and that blackboard is very important ah. behind. Oh, you mean which one? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. The, yes, the, the definition. Push it all the way. Push it all, all the way up. Yeah. All the way. Well, yeah, you're, that you're putting that some non-trivial, non-trivial. Non yeah. yeah. This stuff. is good. That's good. This, this is fine. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, let's compute uh, <coughs> something. Uh, 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 okay, first I'll, I'll formulate a uh, general theorem, which is uh, well quite non-trivial. Uh, um, general theorem is if uh, X is locally compact, 
uh, R is shift or pre shift of DG algebras uh, over X. Pre shift. Uh, you, you can, uh, I mean, the category actually doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I assume it to be pre shift? Oh, no, or not algebras, but small, small DG categories mm -hmm. is also possible. Uh, then, um, continuous case theory of uh, shifts of R modules. Uh, uh, this is uh, our gamma with complex support, right? So it's coefficients in uh, case theory of uh, the usual case theory of R. So you usual, uh, I'm taking just uh, shiftification of, of the pre-shift, which is mm -hmm. K of R of U is uh, K of R of U. Um, yeah, uh, and only for constant shift of DG algebras, this is not, not easy at all. And uh, I will uh, explain uh, uh, the special case. Ah, by the way, uh, yeah, first exercise. Uh, so check this. Uh, just exercise for undergraduates. Uh, check this for uh, uh, x equals counter set. Uh, and R is key. Um, <laughs> yes. Is there a larger class of additive invariants for which this is true? Mm, uh, no, uh, but uh, localizing. Just localizing, just, I mean. For any localizing invariant, commuting with filtered limits. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, should, I, should, I should write this. Yeah. Uh, so, can uh, replace <coughs> K theory by. Uh, localizing uh, invariant <coughs> uh, commuting uh, with uh, filtered columns. So do I understand that just you get kind of rudimentary usual topological case here in sense here if R is like Z, yeah? No, it's not usual topological. Uh, even, even, even if R is Z, I, I'm, I'm getting K theory of algebraic K theory of Z involved. I'm Z, so yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It's a new definition of K theory, basically. In addition to the whole K theory to K0. Yeah, I, I'll explain that the whole K theory reduces to K0 if we're using this. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Can, can you just clarify uh, what do you mean by the remark? So if you take any localizing invariant and you compute the uh, K theory of the Kalkin category. No, no, the no, no, not the K theory, but the invariant of the Kalkin category. Then you get R gamma of the yes, shifted side. Yes, yes, but of Kalkin shifted. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, okay, uh, and uh, I, I will explain the case when uh, X is the real line, and we're thinking just vector spaces. Uh, and uh, in this case, the proof can be made, made much easier and. Uh, it's uh, 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 and uh, well, qu quite be quite beautiful. Um, so um, X is R, and and this is math BB, and uh, and, and R shift is uh, K. Um, uh, so uh, uh, so in this case we can uh, so we do the following. Uh, so uh, let's uh, recall uh, <coughs> that uh, so. Uh, Shvara Shapira uh, uh, so if M is infinity manifold uh, and uh, F is uh, uh, complex of shifts then uh, oh yeah, M then uh, singular support uh, which lives in a tangent bundle and this is closed Conical quasi-tropic. Uh, conical means that it's stable under multiplication by positive reals. And um, uh, I will need uh, only uh, I will not recall the definition. I will need only a special case in which uh, in which uh, uh, single support condition is easy to uh, formulate. It's not so hard in the general case, but uh, yeah, <coughs> um, uh, we will consider the, the most, uh, almost the most, the, mo the most easy possible situation. Namely, um, uh, uh, yeah, and also, also if 
for, for a subset uh, L uh, inside a tangent bundle, but denote by uh, shifts uh, L M, uh, L K, so still vector spaces, but uh, but uh, uh, just shifts on M uh, with uh, micro support in L. Uh, and uh, I will consider the subcategory of uh, shifts uh, with uh, uh, whose, whose single support is in R cross R non negative, where <coughs> I'm identifying T star R with R cross R. Uh, and uh, this is basically a shift on the real line. Uh, such that uh, f computed on uh, for any a smaller than b, f computed computed on the ray from minus infinity to b. To b uh, I mean, I'm con considering uh, shifts on, of complexes, so it's already R gamma. Uh, it goes isomorphically to uh, f of a b. Uh, so uh, sections on any interval are the same as sections on the ray from minus infinity to uh, to the end point. Mm. Is it the same as kind of map from R to uh, uh, functors from R as ordered set to? Uh, this, 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 will, this, will <coughs> hap this will happen uh, okay, okay. shortly. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, so, so but b before describing this category, uh, I, I, I'll say that <coughs> uh, there is um, a Cartesian diagram of strongly continuous functors. It's important that they are strongly continuous. Uh, we have shifts on R, shifts supported on R cross R non negative, shifts uh, supported on R cross R non positive, and uh, shifts supported on the zero, zero section, which are just vector spaces. And uh, all these functors are left adjoints to inclusions, and uh, it's uh, just for clarification, I'll spell out how uh, how they look like. Mm. Namely, uh, uh, all continuous functors from uh, shifts on x to sh shifts on y are given by uh, so 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 this so such functors continuous are uh, this category is equivalent to shifts on x cross y, <coughs> and this uh, Fourier Mukai, but how's it called Kashwara Shapira transform? Fourier Mukai transform, in, yeah, uh, let's call it Kashwara Shapira transform. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, gives uh, it take uh, it looks uh, as follows. So take any g uh, living on uh, <coughs> uh, on the product and uh, phi g is just uh, our gamma with compact. Oh no, no it's um, so you, you, you take, you, you have two projections, P to X and Q to Y. You take uh, Q lower shriek of uh, P upper star of something tensored by G. Yeah, and, uh, and here are these functors. So if this is F non-negative, F non-positive. Uh, well, th these guys are very easy, it's just uh, our gamma with compact support shift shifted by one, and for example, f non-positive is uh, phi uh, with the kernel uh, k uh, uh, x greater than y. I mean uh, extension by zero, so I have this r cross r. Here I have coordinate x, here y. So just uh, take the open set x, x strictly greater than y and uh, extend by zero. Trivial local system, uh, yeah, and uh, shift by also shifted by one, and then uh, this uh, Carti c c c the fact that it's Cartesian is basically just uh, uh, the, uh, it means that so okay you have k delta uh, it uh, goes to k x greater than y shifted by one, just there's only one x one here, k x smaller than y shifted by one. And just k r two shifted by one. So the fact that these embeddings 
admit this right adjoints are continuous. Is this is no, le left adjoints are always continuous. No, no, right adjoints. Uh, right adjoints adjo adjo are just embeddings. It means that single support. Oh, sorry. Yeah. These guys are what? Left adjoints? Left adjoint to inclusions. And the inclusions are continuous. Ah, the left adjoints. Yes, yes. So the fact that they exist, is it a particular speciality of this? Well, th that's a nice question. I expect that they exist for any uh, co conical closed chiasotropic Lagrangian. And probably you, you can even construct the, ker the kernel for, uh, for the adjoint, but it's not... It's not if, I I take the if I take the zero section, will, will that be, will that be zero? Yeah, th then you just take uh, diagonal by module of uh, this uh, chain. Uh, if, it's, if it's connected, you ju just take the algebra of chains on, on the loop space, take that diagonal by module, you spread it over product, you take the optimal local system and just, and uh, yeah, it's, so in this case, yeah, and, and shift by, dim by dimension, uh, that's how it, it's, it's easy case, but I mean just for any, for arbitrary uh, subset, I, 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 I am sure <coughs> that it exists, that's a joint, but I just, uh, I don't know some clear argument which, which, which immediately gives it, but in this case it's easy, um, and um, okay, now, uh, uh, the, the point is that uh, I have this Cartesian diagram, and uh, these guys, uh, both of these arrows, are localizations, which means that I can basically take uh, everywhere <coughs> continuous case theory, and it will still be a uh, Cartesian. So if, if you have uh, such fiber product, and uh, at least one of these arrows is localization, then you can apply uh, your favorite localizing invariant. <coughs> And uh, uh, then uh, the claim uh, uh, is that uh, K theory. Uh, ah, it's, it's okay. Ah, it's fine, okay. Uh, of ships, uh, well, let's just try it with no negative single support. No negative means in the direction of Katachin bundle uh, on R is uh, zero. And this is a very nice elementary computation. Um, and basically, as, as Maxim already suggested, uh, these are uh, this ships uh, <coughs> modules over this directed uh, over the partially ordered yeah, it's over a continuous line. Continu yeah, yeah, but with continuous condition. And, uh, uh, so I, I'll, I'll with co-limits here, continuous, yeah. No, well, limits. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll just explain okay. what happens here. So, um, so if we uh, let's just uh, denote uh, the sections on the ray by f less than a, then uh, shift condition uh, states uh, that uh, f less than a is the homotopy limit, uh, just as in the calculus class when b approaches to a from the left. Uh, uh, of f less than b. Um, yeah, by the way, we, we could actually restrict to any dense subset of R, and uh, uh, functors, unlike functions, already uh, can be extended by continuity, which is yeah. also a nice <laughs> observation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, let's ch take just all real numbers. So we have this shift condition, and uh, just c consider two small categories, SR. Objects uh, just carrying uh, a category associated with uh, with R as an ordered set, so its objects are R and S R from uh, A to B. <coughs> uh, this is just K A less equal to B, zero for A greater than B, and another category is C R, uh, which is uh, objects are the same. But it's just the disjoint union. It's just a disjoint union of copies of K uh, indexed by real numbers. <coughs> so we have homes only from each object uh, to itself, and so no homes. Order. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, with with a discrete order, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, then uh, we have a f uh, we have obviously a functor from S R to T R. Mm. In this direction. Okay. Well, we have no, functors in both directions. No, yeah, no, no, no. What's the direction? Yeah. Well, we have functors in both directions. Ah, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Just, just all the errors from A smaller than B, they vanish. Okay, yeah. Just, okay. just mod out by. Okay, yeah. <coughs> yeah. And this is uh, essentially Gabriel Romero's story, okay. but in this uh, non commutative uh, 
uh, setting, namely, uh, so let's, let's just explain what happens. Uh, so if you take, um, uh, so if you take M in uh, modules over SR, where M of A is F less than A, then uh, shift condition is equivalent to being in the right orthogonal to <coughs> modules over CR. Uh, which is uh, elementary computation. Uh, basically, a fiber of this map from FA to, to homotopy limit of, of this, this is our home from the one-dimensional <coughs> module supported in A. And uh, then uh, also, it's easy to see that CR tensor TR over SR <coughs> equals TR. <coughs> so we have localization and uh, then, uh, And uh, then, uh, uh, so th this uh, actually implies that uh, uh, if we take the kernel of this localization, we get some C, and C is actually equivalent to uh, shifts <coughs> with non-negative single support. This is basically because C equals the left orthogonal to uh, restriction of scalars of modules over TR, but uh, it's uh, left and right invisible, so it's, it's equivalent to the right orthogonal. And right, being in the right orthogonal is detected as a shift condition. Yeah, and then finally we just uh, uh, observe that uh, we have two categories uh, with uh, uh, exceptional collection indexed by collections indexed by real numbers. And for case theory, it doesn't matter whether there are homes from the left to the right of, or if there are no homes. Mm -hmm. So, which means that case theory of SR goes basically isomorphically to case theory of TR, case theory of TR, but here it's important that I'm using the uh, com uh, commutation with filtered colimits. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because this is a uh, uh, colimit of case theory of Dink and Quivers over all uh, finite, uh, well, A. <coughs> Uh, cardinality of S over all finite uh, subsets. Yeah, so just by commutation, and, and similarly here. So just by commutation with filter limits and by um, additivity in similar topological compositions, we, we see that uh, uh, K theory of C uh, v uh, vanishes. Ah, so it's kind of phantom, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but you know, it. you know, this huge phantoms, uh, yeah. they are not so exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's not so exciting that it's a phantom. It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. interesting that uh, it's, uh, we can compute this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and, and then uh, you conclude that uh, here you have zero, uh, zero, and uh, here just a K theory of, of vector spaces. So uh, as a corollary, To the right board? Yes. We can, we can, we can remove this. Yes, Cartesian, that's what I, yeah, it follows from the, from the fact that for these kernels, Kashavar and kernels, you have. Uh, yeah, uh, now, mm, uh, K continuous of shifts should be equal to shifted K theory. Of exactly. The car car yeah, so that's what I'm formulating. Uh -huh. Corollary. Uh, K theory of uh, shifts of vector spaces on the real line uh, is K theory of the base field shifted by minus one. And continuous. of course, I can I can put here any uh, constant Con shift of the G algebra. Continuous K theory. Oh, yeah, yeah continuous. I'd like to remove this continuous because uh, I'm. So I mean, the, 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 the knife doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so, so um, this is a computation, and here uh, just remark that if we take here uh, instead of R, if we take the closed uh, interval, we, we just get K theory without uh, shift, and for the half open interval from 0 to, to 1, for example, 0 included <coughs> and 1 non included, uh, you get just 0 theory. And, uh, and this falls from the general remark. So localization, uh, localization theory for K theory, it works just 
in the opposite direction to Thomason's localization, basically because if you take uh, u inside x open and z is x minus u, uh, then you have uh, uh, you have shifts on u, uh, g lower shrink go to shifts on x, and uh, i uh, uh, i upper star uh, go, go to shifts on z, and this is a short sequence of uh, with strongly continuous uh, maps. So it's, uh, for K theory, it's important to have strongly continuous functors. So, uh, so it's, it's, it's just the opposite direction to the mass localization, and uh, you easily see that these computations are just equivalent to each other. And uh, now, uh, okay, finally, uh, I will formulate uh, the corollary for finite CW complexes and uh, for um, Just u is open. And x is just locally compact. Ah, here, ah, well, for example, uh, if you know that uh, this is zero, then you are taking half open interval inside the closed interval, and you have the points. It's easy. Um, yeah. Uh, now, yeah, the special case of finite double complexes and. Also, um, smooth non compact algebraic varieties. Uh, uh, s s you have a big board on the back. This is a board. There is a third this one. Is a yeah, is, which, is, which is hidden. Yeah, yeah. So you can pull it out. Yeah, so corollary of the general theorem uh, is that if uh, if uh, x is finite CW complex <coughs> and a is just a DGA, so we take co constant shift <coughs> then k theory of shifts of a modules on uh, x this is the mapping spectrum from x to k theory uh, of a and in particular k0 the stabilian group k0 uh, or, or I mean continuous of course uh, is just a homotopy classes of maps from uh, x to k theory space of a <coughs> Yeah, so this is uh, somehow reduces. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this determines k theory spectrum uniquely. Yeah, after non canonical, non -canonical isomorphism. No, no, but it's ah, for finite. Yeah, for finite. Well, I have for, for anything. Yeah, well, for any locally compact, yeah. So it could be like any CW complex. Ah, you need. Uh, no. Well, it's uh, anything. Uh, any CW complex is it's not locally compact. If countable number of Okay. Well, cell, cell and and for compact. locally compact, for compact spaces, it doesn't work. Yeah. No, for, for compact covariant, co 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 not complex, it's just compact vector. Uh, compact yeah, but, but it's, it's o o already. Yeah, but it's yeah. Not, <laughs> too much. So yeah, yeah, but yeah, for nice compact spaces. Yeah, um, yeah and, uh, in, and in, in particular, this says in this case it's homotopy. It's about the homotopy type of X. It doesn't care about the topology. Uh, yeah, for, 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 for these guys, yeah, uh, uh, this is homotopy invariant, yeah. yeah this if you put like special set there, you get total bullshit. It's important to have a problem with the Yes. Um, uh, now, uh, just uh, uh, observations here, uh, several of <coughs> them. Uh, so, so, so first, uh, as I explained, uh, uh, yeah, so, so this uh, definition of K0 is kind of tricky. In particular, K0, uh, it's not uh, in general represented by classes of objects mod mod out uh, by uh, exact triangles it's, it's more complicated yeah but still if you if you are lucky to find a compact object it gives you a class yeah. and uh, as I mentioned well I mentioned this, this for a field but uh, in fact so for this situation uh, well okay let's let's, uh, let's just probably it's, uh, so we have at least inclusion uh, of uh, uh, of uh, lo local systems uh, of uh, uh, perfect uh, A models. 
uh, and uh, and uh, so uh, uh, any, any such object uh, system uh, g gives uh, a map to gives you a spectrum. It, it, it's basically the following: so uh, lo local system defines your map to uh, the nerve, the G nerve of this, and this goes to the K series space. So that's uh, what happens. Uh, in particular, just if A is a field, you, you, you have n-dimensional local systems, you go to BGLN, then to BGL infinity, then BGL plus. Yeah, and you have, you have a rank, which you go to Z, you, you get to, you're getting into k theory space. And um, uh, uh, <coughs> basically, uh, I, I didn't check the details, but uh, as, as far as I know, uh, this was uh, somehow an important step in raising proofs proof of uh, that uh, chain assignments are at a torsion for compact uh, preparators. Uh, and uh, j just uh, uh, if, if, uh, another uh, um, another kind of application of this is that, uh, OK, I have it here. Such figure, almost. But I'm almost, I'm almost finished. Yes. Yeah. So. So if uh, if you take uh, x to be a complex uh, algebraic variety, and you take uh, e to be a local system uh, on x, finite dimensional, uh, with uh, unipotent uh, monodromy. Uh, at infinity, well, this basically means, uh, you, so if you, if you, you take simple no normal crossings uh, complexification, uh, so you have uh, input one of them, uh, on so small, small, small circles along uh, dividers, and um, mm, uh, then uh, I claim that uh, this gives you uh, still a map from uh, X bar uh, to K theory space, let's say of our base field, but this can be a Apply it even for so it's general story. And uh, hmm? K. K mm -hmm. of the base no, field. No. What? K series space of K. Uh -huh. no. yeah. Yeah. Fine dimensional. Yeah, fine dimensional. Uh -huh. uh, fine dimensional. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, so how to get this? Uh, you basically construct. Uh, <coughs> so you have this. Uh, there's Katanakayama space, uh, just manifold with corners. So you buy Katanakayama space of x bar d. If, if you have only one divisor, it's just a real blow up, but there is general definition for log schemes. Uh, I'm, I'm basically answering the question which Carlos uh, asked me uh, two days ago. So, just, yeah. uh, so uh, you, you, you take this uh, Katanakayama space and uh, uh, it's, uh, it has, y y so u is just com complement, uh, not, not u, it's x. It's complement to the, to the, to the boundary, so it's, and it's homotopia homotopy equivalence. So you, you get some local system on, uh, you, you get some local system on uh, y, e, e, e tilde, uh, so uh, you get local system on y, and then you basically consider, um, <coughs> you consider subcategory inside uh, shifts on the, on Katanakayama space, uh, which consists of uh, uh, objects which are uh, so for any fiber of the projection to x bar, uh, which which is which are real tori, uh, you just uh, require that. So you, you require that uh, for any point x in x bar, f restricts it to the uh, fiber uh, over over x. Uh, th this is some uh, something infinite dimensional, but you require that it is uh, locally constant uh, with uh, locally unipotent monodromy. Uh, and this is uh, uh, this is dualizable subcategory with continuous comp uh, with continuous right adjoint. So you have this inclusion, and it has continuous right adjoint. Uh, yeah, and you can play the same game and. Uh, uh, and basically, mm, uh, the, uh, yeah, and, and another, uh, and, and uh, it's crucial here that 
uh, the pullback functor from uh, from k theory of shifts from shifts on x bar to uh, shifts on Kato Nakayama space. When you apply k theory, this is just isomorphism. This is basically a corollary of Divisage. Yeah, this locally lo lo locally important. It's a very easy condition. So lo sy lo local systems of the real to torus. This is just quite coherent shifts on uh, g m to the power n, and you take shifts supported at one. You don't mean shifts on y. You mean g. You mean the subcategories. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just call it k shift x. K theory of Shifts on x bar. Oh, I, I'm, I'm in subcategory, yeah. of course, of course. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Of this subcategory. Of, yeah. of this subcategory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of, uh, yeah. So uh, and again, as I said, if I'm lucky to find a compact object somewhere, then it has a class in in k zero. Ah, so explain why this map exists. It's all about it. From yeah, yeah, bar yeah. 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 So this, this, this is this gives a tilde gives a compact object okay. in C, yeah. and in particular it has a class in k zero, but k zero is just the same as for. So this is kind of a, one application, but uh, I think th th there should be uh, actually more applications. I, I just I just didn't uh, uh, I, uh, um, didn't uh, investigate uh, every, uh, everything. What is what I mean, there there are m many games to play here, so I, just, I didn't play all of them. And uh, yeah, was possibly I have uh, it's a negative number already, right? Minus, minus yeah. ten. Minus, minus ten. 10? Yeah. Okay, yeah. then then I, then I stop here. <laughs> okay, well, let's thank Sasha. <laughs> and maybe let's defer questions to the lunchtime. I should try to do the community.